Ugly Crooks, Haunted Stations, Mud Wrestling, and more. Keep watching for the unique news update. Hi everyone, welcome to GetTheDaily.com. I'm Dana Ward, dishing you the latest and most interesting in news. Female mud wrestling has moved beyond being just a spectator sport for fun, and in Sp Siberia, it's now an actual competition. Russia is holding its first ever regional event. The technical rules are hard to forget. No biting, no scratching, and no hair pulling. Event organizers claim that it's not actually mud in the wrestling area, but the women are rolling around in special therapeutic clay from a local spa. And it seems a Pennsylvania town has asked paranormal investigators to check out its police station. According to some station employees, creepy things have been occurring there for years, and only the fact that the place is haunted can explain it. Some say the typewriter types without anyone pressing the buttons, the attic door springs open when bolted shut, and the sidewalk sweeper starts up without a battery or a key. Everyone at the police station is awaiting the paranormal report results. And over the weekend, a Michigan woman at a bank left her photo ID and correct address on an account application just before pulling out a handgun and demanding cash from the banker. Within one hour, police had arrested the woman. And postal workers in Wisconsin making the rounds are now armed with water pistols. It has become customary during this time of the year for workers on a specific route to get attacked by wild turkeys. A regional wildlife supervisor for the State Department warns locals to stop feeding the turkeys as the wild animals seem to be less afraid and more likely to attack humans. The supervisor also says postal workers are likely attacked most because the colors red, white, and blue attract the wild animal, as it's customary for the male turkey's head to change to all of these colors during mating season. That's today's interesting news update. For GetTheDaily.com, I'm Dana Ward. Thanks for watching.